Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the icons on your desktop. You can customize them to do different things to your liking. So the first thing I want you to do is right click on the desktop. And then you're going to see that top one that says view. When you slide over to the right, you can choose your icon size. Now this is the large setting. If you go over one more time, you got the medium setting. And then if you choose the list one more time, you got the small setting. So you can choose the icon based on how you like them on your particular display. So the regular size is actually medium. So if you want to switch back to medium, that's fine. You can also hide the icons on your desktop if you want that clean look. That's going to take everything off the desktop, even the recyclable bin. And if you want the icons to come back, you just click show icons and they just kind of come right back. Now, right now, the icons are set to snap to a certain position on the desktop. So you can't really put them precisely how you want them. They're just automatically going to snap where you put them. So to deactivate that, you want to right click, go to view again, and then you want to uncheck where it says align icon to grid. And now you can precisely put them wherever you want to. You see, you can barely move them and then they're just going to stay there. It won't actually snap to a position like they do when the grid mode is on. And then when you want to put them back in the grid, you just turn it back on and then the automatic is going to snap back to that grid mode like it did before. The grid kind of keep them aligned so they look like they're in the same position at one time, the same height and the same row. That's what the grid is for. You also have one that says auto arrange icon. Now if you choose this one, what it's going to do is put all the icons on one side of the desktop, usually starting from the left and work its way across. Now when this is on, you cannot take the icons and just drag them anywhere on the desktop. When you do that, it's automatically going to snap back over to the left. And if you have another row of icons, then those icons are still going to be in the second row. They're not going to be to the right. doesn't matter how many rows of icons that you have. Go back in and turn off the auto align icon. And then now you can move them around and put them wherever you want to. But if you want to have them in a certain position, like you want to create a smiley face or whatever, then you have to turn off where it says align to grid and everything else is your liking, the size of the icon. But like I said, medium is the standard size that Windows choose as far as your icons. Now you have these shortcut keys that you can choose from control shift and that number, and then that's going to adjust the size of your icon automatically without you going to the right click menu. Okay. So another thing I want to show you is how you can sort these icons that's on your desktop. So if you right click on the desktop, you see, you can sort by name, size, item type or date modified. So we're going to choose name. So as you can see, as soon as I choose name, it's sorted all the icons based on a name type. If you sort by size, then it's going to arrange the icons based on the size of the icon. Now, how does it know the size? Well, if you right click on the icon, you're going to go down to properties and then you go to details and then it's going to show you the size of that icon. Now, if I click on another one, click properties, and details, you're going to see the size of that one is totally different. So that's how it knows how to sort by size. So now you're going to right click on the desktop again, you go to sort by, and then we're going to choose item type. Now in this choice, it started to group everything based on the type. So it put all the web link at top, and then it put all the app icons below that. If we go to the sort list again, and this time we choose date modified. Now it actually sort everything by the date it was modified. You can find that out by right clicking on the icon, going to properties, then going to details. And then on the list, you will see date modify. It's going to show the date and time that this app or icon was modified. So that's how it knows how to sort everything based on the date it was modified. All right. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.